Hello there, guys, and welcome to the podcast. It's Saturday morning. Um, this basically is a self-storage book for those who read who are looking at the video, which probably most people aren't. It's called Growing Wealth in Self-Storage by AJ Osborne. I read this literally in a day, and I know that before you switch off, if you're not interested in self-storage, then, oh, no, <laughs> I got an alert. Sorry about that. I normally turn my notifications off. What the hell? How come that's on? Right, so, yeah, normally um, I, I tend to read books with an overall surface knowledge so I can use that for my industry. However, this book is a fantastic book. I've got the hardback and I've only just found it on audio. And I just thought, right, I'm going to read it this week. And I read it within two days. And what I want the what I want you guys to get out of this today is that whatever industry you're in, there will be a book to support that, whether it's sales, whether it's marketing, whether it's whatever it is, customer care. There's there is some book out there that will support what you do and how you do it. And it will improve how you do your job as well. And so I just want you, I just want this message to, to really resonate with people and think, do you know what? If I'm in management, there's management books, there's leadership books, there's everything, there's sales. There's, there's a book out there that can definitely improve you as a person for your job. And for you to improve as a, as a, in, in your job, you can improve your financial position. Improving your financial position can improve your family life, can improve your, your home life. It can improve your mental state. It can, it's literally a flywheel. It's a knock-on effect. It will only have positive ramifications to you and your well-being. So please, please, please take this as a call to read some books that will help you in whatever industry you're in because it can fundamentally change your life as I know. This book, Growing Wealth in Self-Storage, it for me is the best book in self-storage at the minute. I will be bringing out a book in self-storage in probably next year, maybe not this year. Um, and until then, until the bag comes out, this is the best book for self-storage. If anybody wants to understand or know self-storage and how to develop and operate and revenue management and finding the feasibility studies, finding the uh, facilities, uh, where to start, then this is the book for you. This is, I'm not going to bang on about it too much because this is a self-storage book. And I thought it was tremendous and terrific. And for me, it was very, very impactful, enjoyable. I had... Did I learn something from it? Probably yes. Probably yeah. Probably I did learn something from it. But it also reinformed, reinformed, it reinforced some of the opinions I already had. So for me, it's definitely worth reading. Growing wealth in self storage by A. J. Osborne. The the true name is the Investor's Guide to Growing Wealth in Self Storage. The step by step playbook for turning a real estate asset into a thriving self storage business. It's a great book. It really is. So if anybody's interested in self-storage, this is the book that I would recommend everybody read. Um, but not only that, the biggest, 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 biggest takeaway I can give you guys is please, please, please uh, read a book that will benefit your career. It just wants a month. What? And I know that's like, really? what? Once a month? You just said one book. I mean, one, once a month. I think that it's it's the biggest thing that you can do. For me, when, when my kids get older, um, I'm not bothered about them getting a job because me, um, yes, I, I want them to get some sort of work experience and understand life and work and stuff like that, but I will pay them. I don't know how much I'll pay them, maybe £10, £20, whatever it is, every book they read. And I'll, ask, I'll read it along with them. I'll listen to the audio book um, and ask them questions. And depending on how many questions they get right about the book, depending on how much money they'll get. So it might be a maximum of 20 quid and it might be two pound a question. There might be 10 questions. I don't know. But for me, that is much more important than having a paper round. Um I'm having, I'm having an internal battle on myself because having a paper round, I had a paper round. I used to get up. I used to hate it. I used to wet, rindy, cold, but it put hairs on my chest. It made me resourceful and resilient. So I, I don't know, but what I, I, I don't want my kids to miss out on a lot of fun like I did when I was younger for working. Not as much as my dad, but certainly when I was early, I was working every single Saturday, Sunday. I didn't have weekends off and I missed out on a lot of fun. I couldn't play football with my friends because of that, um, when I was like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, whatever it was, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, as soon as I could drive. And I, I, don't, I don't want that for my kids. So if I can, because I want them to experience friendships, how to build relationships, how to build rapport. That for me is really, really important. But also I do want them to have some sort of understanding about how hard real life is, 
but then I want to educate them as well. So maybe I haven't got it all dialed in yet. I, I don't know. But one of the things I'm definitely going to do is 100% make them read books because that for me is one of the best, best things that they can do to learn. And so I would I would plead with you guys, if you want to get in front and uh, do better in life and earn more money, whatever it may be, your ambitions, even if it's down to your family, how to be a better husband, how to be a better wife, how to be a better uh, dad, mom, there's books on everything. And I promise you, there's there's no negativity that can come out of reading the book. It's only positive. It's just putting yourself out there and reading it. So that's it, my friends. Read books, educate yourself, and I promise it is life-changing. All right, dudes, dudettes, have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.